Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Like that little boy tells my dear. Good afternoon. Good. Guys, uh, hello boy. Go see me babies. Told me babies. Told me babies. All my babies. So we just got back from church. I'm still wearing my church dress, except it was a little too revealing. I should have put a segurito here. I'm not going to say I should have sewn it because I don't sew anymore. I don't know how to sew. So, what do I care? <laughs> not really. Pero, I do have seguritos, man. I should have put one in the morning. That look like cartridge. <laughs> what looks like cartridge? My guys, today my back hurts so much. My cintura. My lower back, my lower waist. The sciatic pain that shoots in your ass and your nalgas. And so I left, we had a, a pack of chicken thighs, right? So I put them in the oven, in the oven bag. Guys, if you want your steaks or your chicken to be tender and nice, put it in the oven bag. And it, with the vapors, it sweats like a motherfucker and it cooks way better and it's more healthier for you. Anyways. So I put a big. Where are the hot sauce, my amor? Valentina, no, I don't. I only like Valentina when it's uh, those little flower chicharrones, you know. But a lot of it wiped out because I kind of put a little bit of milk in my in the chicken sauce and the wing sauce. Just put a little bit of hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know I love you. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Have you guys ever had hot sauce on your burritos, babies? No, I'm just kidding. And uh, and then I had a little pack of pork chops, like this big. Uh, this is a pork, pork sirloin. So I said, I'll put in the other bag. Since I had a, a little box that I got at Walmart that has two bags oven bags and i put the that one with honey barbecue and left it in the oven we left it in there at 250 Max, no. and that's teriyaki uh Max. lo mein teriyaki lo mein i need it it's better i got my mouth is watering guys it's more yummier when i have more of the ingredients that i need so let's begin to begin <laughs> Papi. <laughs> oh, and Ashley, um, I'm going to try that that recipe of the pasta with bacon, but let me see. Um, after the 22nd, after I get my food stamps. Because right now I don't have the, the, the things that I need for that. Uh, what else? Mmm. Girl, did you taste the teriyaki pasta? Yes. Fucking bomb, girl. Bomb. It's bomb, and I didn't put the things that I, I like to put in there. Which is, you know, this is like angel hair pasta. I like to make it with regular thicker thicker pasta, but it's good. So let me tell you. I'm going to make it. But it's too wet. It's too wet. Too wet compared to the other. This is repollo, cabbage. Okay, so. You don't know what romaine pasta is, but you've been to a Chinese restaurant. It's a little spaghetti that has like veggies or something. And that's bomb. We love it. Me and Julia especially. So. Depending on your family or how, however you're going to serve three people or eight, you know. Because ya le echaste más spaghetti o menos, okay? No. Whatever no. spaghetti you want. Let your water boil. Throw in either a little ball of butter or a little bit of oil so the noodles don't stick. And then yeah, you... Yeah, I found my freaking And then once it's boiling, you throw in your pasta, break it. I break it in two, sometimes in three. 
but I wanted it a little long, so I did it in two. Look, guys, it's fucking bomb. I'm not lying. He just died. Sam, did you hear that? My long one, yeah. That's uh. Yeah, when that's done, over here in another pan with butter. You can, like I say, shortcuts. Go buy your little minced garlic at Walmart. It's not, it's not that expensive, like two, three dollars. It's just una buena cuchara aquí. And again, if you don't have onions, you can put in minced onions, which is what I use because we didn't have onion, but I usually like to use real onion and cut it in half. And then julienne it, which is like this, like little rainbow sizes. Put it in there with the garlic. If you don't, we we'll improvise in garlic powder, onion powder, but more try it like this, this way. And then you get a, a cabbage. The ones we, the one we had was a little like this, but get your regular sized cabbage and maybe cut in half, depending on if you like cabbage that much or not. I do. Mm. And then. Shout out to Mandy. Mandy, ta chula, me pone corazones. Yay! What's up, Mandy? Mandy, what's up? Yeah, Mandy, todas, 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 todas. I love you all. If things go well, I, I'm almost... I had been waiting to go live because... Because uh, this or that would happen, right? And I was like, uh, besides a little nervous to do it. Because I've seen how a lot of people, when people are like, they talk a lot of shit, when they're mad, they're haters, you know? And with my character, my genio, I was like, oh, you know, because if they tell me something, I know my mouth. Oh, no, I went there. Mom. My bad words are going down. I've been praying for my bad words to go away, you know? Not to have such a big ugly mouth. Mm. So not too long ago when I said, well, I'm ready, I'm ready. Remember you guys, I told you, I think I told you since July, huh? Oh, bless you. And uh, I truly already started, you know, trying to learn in there how to come live and start earning something, right? But it turns out I need more hours of uh, viewing time. Like my people that subscribe and that can will view the whole video. I need a little bit more hours, and then I need. I have six hundred and something subscribers, and I need seven hundred. I think I'm off by fifty. No, I was in. No, you already have the subscribers. It's just. I already have all the subscribers. You need all the hours. You need like. I need hours, and I need to make more shorts. You need like a million more hours. Huh? Or something, yeah. Mm hmm. Hold on, guys. Where? I didn't know you were so over there in a meeting over here. Okay. Uh, esto, bueno, pero ya nomás que se me complete el time. Once I have the time and the hours and everything is good. Should be a couple months, then fuck okay, it. I'm just gonna go live. What can they say that I don't know already? Estoy fea, estoy gorda, estoy vieja. Es, es, es este normal. Juan Gabriel once said, they asked him if he was gay, and he said, lo que, lo que se ve no se pregunta. You know what I mean? Was that his, his way of saying yes? Mm-hmm. This is what he's saying, yeah. Like it's obvious. If you see that I'm gay, why ask? It's like for the new people that are going to be coming in on the live and say, vieja, gorda, canosa, fea, whatever. It's not like it's not visual, you know? You see, I am older. I am gordis. Um, fea. Especially when I don't have makeup. But I don't know if everybody's just being nice, but. 
I got a lot of people up on Facebook telling me that I that I look way better like this than with all my eye makeup. I don't know. Maybe they'll just be nice, or maybe it's just me that I think I'm really ugly. But it's because I look like my brother, like my dad. So, siento así como que me veo medio. No cara de hombre, pero. I don't know if you understand me, pero. Me siento fea. Been wearing paint since I was about 12. I, you know, the basic, like when you start wearing makeup when you're little. And you put on like lip gloss. Back then, was lip gloss was a, a, a really, a, really everybody. All the little girls were into lip gloss. Um, I don't know how to use mascara yet or none of that. Um, just put when you're little. I just had a little pen and you do a little pencil. Turn on with a lighter and burn it a little. Of course, your eyes start creeping a little bit. But once you start learning, but you get the hang of it, bell. As I got older, pues, yeah, I started curling my lashes, putting on mascara, mm -hmm. different things, you know. But I, I love my eye makeup that I wear. I don't know. I think that my eyes look real pretty when I have my big old lashes in para. And then whatever colors here, if I if I'm wearing a color to match my outfit or whatever, <laughs> my my outfit, I didn't mean that. Ariella, pop! The girls are watching Glee again. I hope we can find a good movie too, so we can watch a good movie. So Julia's here eating with me. Um, she liked the Terry. Ya estás comiendo, mami. Dame la Samantha. Did you like it, mama? Or have you tasted everything already? Yeah. So we have chicken and then the little pork chops and then the And Julia was like, Mom, you're gonna build a spaghetti and you're not gonna eat then you're gonna leave it in the fridge and then it's gonna get thrown away later. And I said, Hell no. If it comes up bomb, I'll be eating it. Oh, I was telling you about the stir fry, that about the lo mein. Well, this is how I do it, right? The way I'm telling you. Mm. <laughs> so you really cut up or shred it your cabbage, right? As much as you want. You already cooked up your onion with garlic. Once that's cooked with the butter real nice, dump. The, the teriyaki sauce in there, I dumped all of it because it was a smaller bottle <laughs> and a different brand. I usually use co Cucumel, but this time I got a cheaper brand. It was a little bit smaller. So I put it in there. All of it. And then I said, oh, it's too, it's, it was real thick instead of liquidy. So I said, no, I put, I put a little bit of water in my bottle. And, you like the little color. I you. <laughs> and then, guys, I'm so sad because I, I, somebody oh, did take a big pot of mine from church, and I'm so sad about that. And I still went and looked for it again. Oh well, I just told you, yeah, ya, ya no voy a preguntarle a nadie, you know, whoever took it, pues, I guess they needed it. And plus, you're not supposed to steal from church. Nothing, nothing, not even. Oh, I am gonna steal some toilet paper because I don't have it in the house or whatever. Nothing, dudes. Let me tell you something. Because I, I used to be the leader there in the church. A leader in the kitchen. I'm not because I left for a year. But I still love the kitchen. I just can't do nothing. That I used to because I'm in a wheelchair. But if I stand up a little bit to cook or to serve them or something, my legs go up. And I don't want to fall, you know. Shut up. Shut up. Why are you mad at him? It's because they want to. What are they get? What are you giving them, by the way? The noodles. He likes the noodles. No, 
Toma, papi, yo te doy pipi. Le dio carnita. O le dio carnita. Pipi. Where's somebody? Don't go outside. Yes, I just throw it on the floor. But they lick it clean. They leave it as if I just finished sweeping and mopping. Este, we always have the bucket ready for, you know, with water and fabuloso and a little bit of Clorox in case of, you know, their pee, -pee accidents or, or if we drop something or something. Anyway, we've been lucky. We've been having, we've been having money, thank God. So that's why I was eating now, you know. The day that I got, I got some feria. I, remember yesterday the other day? I bought them. Did I have no pan yesterday? Two what? Yeah, uh, burgers. Oh, yeah. We don't know. Oh, yeah, pussy. Yeah. Oh, no, that was a McDonald's, huh? <coughs> or is that the day that we got everything? No, huh? The day before is when we got, I got them the little donut holes. I got them. ¿Qué más, mami? Ya no me acuerdo. Se me va la pinche cabeza. What was Thursday? Thursday. Thursday that you got the, your pot pie. I that pot pie. I want to get one from Walmart, a big one from the freezers. Okay. Mm. I'll tell you something. It's a little personal, but I mean, you guys know practically everything about me. And you know, you don't see them, but you know my kids' voices. Mm. You know, I've told you that I get footsteps. I'm not ashamed. I thank God for my helps. It's there. Oh, we get this what, like 150, I think. See that? What's wrong with this tapa? 164. 164. And I think it was time to renew or something, and they emailed Jules and they said, We calculated it wrong. Did they say that they it should have been more, or we just assumed? I assumed because they, <clears throat> they put my salary was more, more than what I'm making. So obviously, if it's like $400 uh -huh. above what I'm making, then and so the stamps is for me and, and this and you still include it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they don't want to include Sam. She's not working, they're like, getting paid for nothing. I pay her she's cash. She's not working, that's what she's she's not working. Working. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can give her one day. But anyways, we'll see. Mm. Se supone that it's just me and Julia and just the stem. It's down there that she lives here, but not that. But it's not like I'm gonna buy with my food stems food and say, no, you don't eat nothing because you don't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be stupid. Well, they kind of. They kind of let her to think that maybe they're going to up them, which would be nice. Because we do. We. It's not like we cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's not like we cook every single day. But still. And then you know how the food is very expensive now, guys. Oh, my God. Um. So, anyways, if they up it. Well, a toda madre, right? Then I could buy better things, you know? And it depends, like, how our groceries are and how full my fridge is. If I get the stamp stick on the 22nd and there's nothing, I try to buy a little bit of everything. 
at least two lessons for a week and a half too. Then Julia gets paid and she'll buy like 150 worth and then when I get my money, I get another 150. So it costs to um it, it costs a lot to 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 eat well. You know? I get Walmart myself. I always get the great value. And when it's Julia turn and she says, I'm gonna go bring some groceries, she'll she'll get the good friends. Mm -hmm. We all struggle at one point or another. The thing is to be humble and not look down on somebody just because they don't have something. Like when I began, no, I'm like, Mark, scratch that. There's this girl that I follow that does mukbangs from Mexico. When she started, she always had black beans, refried black beans. I don't like black beans. But they say they taste just like regular pinto beans, just they're black. But I don't buy them. Black beans. A couple of leaves of lettuce that were always all wilty and shit. And then she went. Who was that? She's choking. She's on my thumb. that way. And then she would have like two or three tortillas of maize like kind of burnt. And then she would be like, mmm, que rico. You know, to her it was rico, of course. As she's gotten up and she makes very I know. She eats way better. She'll sit there and show you what she got from the groceries. She'll put her little stand there and you know, you're watching her cook. Meanwhile she's being silly and talking about funny shit. That's why I follow her. Um, sometimes she goes out to eat. Uh huh. Or sometimes she'll order in pizza, tacos, chicken, whatever. A couple of times she's gone like to Burger King or McDonald's in Mexico. I've seen it those crazy. I know. Um, even her wardrobe has gotten a lot better. A lot better. But yeah, I, I like, I'm following her because. I felt sorry for her because she, because of the way she, like me guys, I don't know if I told you before, I did. If any of you watch Wendy's eating show, Wendy, she is the, I always say she's the queen of hot Cheetos. That girl can eat hot Cheetos and the most hot Cheetos and she loves Cheetos. She'll be eating something and buying a jalapeno. Ooh. But I love to watch her. I, I just don't watch her so often. Ooh. And then trip up. A couple of these <laughs> that I followed. See, Stavan, if they were chubby, not fat, fat, or chubby, whatever. They used to wear wigs too, with as gorditas. And they all had nails, and they all had their lashes, and I'm like, what? Is this something with gorditas about the wigs? Oh. One of them wears extensions. Mm, one of them sometimes wears stiff wigs. Not often, but yeah. Mm. <clears throat> this is a dress by the oh shit this is a dress and it was like three or four dollars when I tell you that we went to Forever 21 also I have the new favorite Lana cream and my 
and a little bit of those stuff. Right. From primera to la primera. It's all about la primera to the Here, guys, I'll give you a little piece of pork chop. Baby. Baby. Did it fall? Where is it? Comete la tuya. ¿Dónde quedó? ¿Se te cae? Shake it, shake it. What did it fall? Mama, you see a piece of meat. Mikola? <laughs> I checked, it's not in there. <laughs> Pinche luz que se prende y se apaga sola. Ay, Dios. And you just came back from church to understand Pinche. Mama. Can I, here, can I get some more? Hola? No, hola. <laughs> Well, don't, you're not going to touch it, baby. I just wash my hands, you see. Can I get some more chicken? Yes. But there's a lot of chicken, huh? Because they shouldn't have taken a piece of it. Do you have to eat this? Do you want to eat it? No. Do you want to eat it? Do you want to eat it? Do you want to eat it? No, I'm fine with the meat. In fact, I thought maybe Jesse might have wanted to. I was going to tell him, but I said, I better not say. I was going to tell him, Papi, if you want hey, to put yeah. in the little pork okay. chop and a, and a bread, but that was a noche de, de barbecue. Thank you, pork chop. Yeah, no, the less better the bread that we all eat, the better. Mm. This is said that the noodles were a little bit spicy. I don't think so. Do you? Sam. Mm -hmm. Were the noodles spicy for you? A little. Mm -hmm. Tolerable. Mm -hmm. I reckon. Guys, guys, if you know of a good movie, tell me in the comments down below. That's on Tubi, that's on Netflix or Tubi or Pluto, whatever, HBO. Ay, that fucking straw is really fat. I'm scared to try the chicken. Gonna stuff my chicken. Gonna stuff my chicken. I have a... Mm-hmm. It's good. It's mm good. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I better get my chickens first. I have two pieces of thigh. Two thighs. So anyways, if if I would have like if it would have been like too too much noodles for that and I would have fucked it up and been like, ah, I didn't have enough teriyaki sauce. Um I just want to put a shoulder of sweet and sour that I have here that's high. Sweet chili. Oh, I made it good. Anyways, what do I mean? Did you actually put sugar on it? No. I'm saying. So after I had that, uh, hola. hola. <laughs> and then we put that rallado cabbage on top. We had already like sauteed the onion and the garlic with the cola. With the teriyaki sauce. And then I put a, was it just a skillet, you know? All the cabbage patch kits. And then uh, I, because I like a lot of veg, I love vegetables. I put a, a bag of uh, frozen peas and carrots in there. And then I covered it. And then just let it simmer. Simmer down, you little. So 
So simmering down. And then I looked at the pen that I was going to get. I don't know. It is too much back through this. No. I got a big cake pan that I have there. That is, uh, you know the trays in school when you were in school and they would serve you in the cafeteria and there were big ass trays? I have two of those. Because my dad hey. yeah. worked, worked yeah. At, at a school. And, you know, he's the one that showed me how to steal. He was a pinche raterito. <laughs> and so, yeah, he had, uh, he had some good stuff. Look at for three stuff. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I think it looks like 32 minutes. Yeah, 32 minutes. I couldn't see eye, guys. And then I had them pray for me because Tuesday is my eye operation. So even after that, primeramente Dios que todo sale bien. Then another two weeks <laughs> that I can't wear eye makeup. So I'll probably just Move on once a week, maybe, maybe twice. Cause I don't like coming out like this. And um, this is fucking bomb, guys. They give this a ten. And that wing sauce, it's cheap, but it's good. There's also another one, guys. If you ever want to do this. The bread I get is Erdes. It's it's <clears throat> it's Mexican. Erdes with the H. Um, they got a really good chipotle creamy sauce. And again in a bottle kind of like this, maybe. Um that one too, dudes. You could put it in the oven. Put your chicken in the oven. Maybe in a in foil or in a, in a cooking bag, whatever. Cooking bags, I love cooking bags. Um, yeah, this chicken is so tender and so good because we left it in there about three hours at 250, so it's slowly cooked. Up. Oh, my. And then when I wanted to. I had the two cooking bags in that big, big ass pan I told you. And I was gonna move it over here. One of them in a little pan. And it had a little hole. So it's gonna drip all over. So I put it in that little pan and then I put the chicken in this little pan. The chicken one had more juice. And I was like, fuck, it's gonna overfill. And I'll tell you a little secret in the end. Ah, hold on. Go back to the teriyaki. So yeah, so you sauteed onion, garlic. I'm going to put any spices in it unless maybe more garlic, but you already put garlic in here. There's a lot of teriyaki, lo menes, que lo tienes prendido para que haga sema. Le eché en la cabbage. And the no frozen carrot, uh, peas and carrots on top. Mm -hmm. and then we drained our noodles of course and then first I put the whole pan of the veggies and stuff for teriyaki in a big pan like that you know? and then Julia helped me to drain the noodles and put them in the last if she can help me mix it ya no mixamos and it looked like real white like it needed more sauce she goes, I think it's not enough to work. And I said, no mames. And then I said, well, I'll fix it. I always fix everything. So, yeah. I needed a little bit more 
to be a juicier or else it's going to be like real dry, you know? Like what? Remember I told you I had juice that was a lot, like from the barbecue and the wings? So with the barbecue sauce, I poured a little bit of juice there, like this much maybe. And then the wings one had it more, so I was scooping it out and putting it in there. It tastes fucking bomb, guys. It's fucking bomb. I always fix everything. Even if, I, if I'm like running low on groceries, I know how to fix shit. <laughs> Right there. Look, it's not enough. You got some nerve, guys. I'm gonna let you go because it's but I'm gonna finish this. It's bomb, but I'm getting full. And, muy rico. and I was drinking water, guys. By the way, all right, guys. You guys have a good Sunday. Behave, don't drink and drive. And I hope you guys have a very blessed week. And if you can, you know, pray for me for Tuesday morning when I get my eye surgery. Hopefully, it will increase my, well, I'm sure in God, Jesus' name, 80% better the, of my vision will be 80%. Also, pray for my quality increase. Uh, that I would like. <laughs> Para que todo salga bien. Yeah. And then I'll be coming out on para. Ooh, I might not even go need glasses. Con la no guachamos, guys. Muchos besos y abrazos.